Ottawa Fury FC snapped their three-game losing skid Wednesday night at TD Place with a nil-nil draw against Miami FC. Marcel DeBellis collected the shutout in goal for Ottawa Fury FC, although scary moments in the opening half when Johnny Steele fell awkwardly to the ground. Everything turned out okay for the former Fury FC midfielder. Here's how everything played out at TD Place. What happened was Johnny Steele went for the uh, the header and he went kind of butt over tea kettle yep. over uh, Ryan Williams and I think hit his head and that's why he's getting attention right now on the pitch. Well, a they're they're calling for a substitution here, but b you've got uh, both sets of uh, trainers over helping out. Johnny Steele has uh, been placed onto the stretcher. You can hear the fans giving him. A hand gives the thumbs up as, as he's heading off. On the right, in for Moanga, just inside the Miami penalty area, lays it off. Oliveira, left footed shot, and that misses the target. Here's Blake Smith, takes it from Poku. Smith with the cross, and dangerous. Up the middle is Resende. Plays this on the left, Campos onto his right foot, the shot, oh, and he missed. Campos should have scored from there, missed the top corner. Ishtaku, a nice little turn, good ball forward. Tiso powers through on the left with a cross and just couldn't link up with Moanga. Interesting tactic that would be. Bring up. It's amazing to have 11 injuries. Oh. Here's a right footed shot from distance, stopped by DeBellis and he stops the rebound as Campos could not deliver. Oh, what a chance for Campos. 32 yards out this one. And it will be Ryan Williams with the shot. And it is stopped. And there is the final whistle. Ottawa Fury FC continue their three-game homestand Sunday afternoon, a 2 o'clock kickoff against Indy 11. It's Fury Fanatics Day as the club celebrates minor soccer in the nation's capital. For tickets, visit ottawafuryfc.com.